Good morning. Uh, in today's quick video, we are trying to uh, understand what all a user can do in Business Central personalization. So we'll go through these points as you can see on your screen. How can I actually personalize? If I already personalize, how can I clear existing personalization? Uh, what's new in personalization in Business Central 2020 Wave One? And why I keep on seeing a logged icon on on certain pages during personalization so we'll go through all of those in this video so let's spin up our business central environment so uh, you can personalize your workspace and this your workspace uh, so that it fits to need or your need uh, as in what where you want those pages uh, uh, what fields you want what information you want where you want it the placement of it the positioning of it so that you can work pretty easily the personalization changes that you w make will only affect you and that's very important it doesn't affect other users so this is your personalized view and that applies only to you so if I'm going to personalize anything right now on this tenant and other users log into this tenant they'll not see my personalization because they are uh, for me and I have done it let's talk about what you can personalize so you can actually personalize all types of pages including role center pages the the page that you are seeing right now so let's start and let's see what possibilities are and how we do it so just for example let's take the customer page for an example customer list page you click on the gear icon on the top from here you will select the personalized action you might see a different screen based on your version of business central once you click on personalize you get a ribbon on the top which says right now it's personalizing the customer page and then there is a plus field icon there are option and we'll go through it so the first thing that you can do is you can resize your column so resize the width of your column like if there is a big text that you cannot read you can always come and expand or collapse or make it small or if you want to fit it to text to the maximum text that you have you can just double click it and it should go back to uh, the, the value of maximum text you can also add fields so as you can see that there are only certain fields that I can see on my customer list page but if you want more you can always add more fields by clicking on plus field icon once you click on it it show up all the fields uh, that are ready to be added uh, so let's say I need a credit limit so you'll just drag it place it wherever you want and it'll get added in a while so now the credit limit is part of it which we can see so you can add a field then you can uh, move the columns so let's say if I need balance uh, first you can just drag it and place it wherever you want if you want payments first you can change it here and let's assume that I want balance as soon after the name so you can place it here and if the list goes big and when you traverse through the list this is what uh, keeps your columns which is free Spain so you can also decide at what point my free Spain is so right now if it's a big list it will go and it will only keep number as the freezed column and let's suppose I also need name so you can always click on this red arrow that you see on the field and say set free Spain as you do that that free Spain icon will change and going forward whenever you click on uh, when you traverse the list these two columns will be fixed and let's see that so if you see now the two columns are fixed and you can decide it based on the location that suits your need um, the other thing that you can do is uh, uh, you can also control what you see on the fact box and this one is a new feature in business central that also shows you anything which is already hidden and if you want to show it you can always show it so it makes it more easy for the user to understand what was actually hidden 
by default and if he or she needs it can always enable it by clicking on this drop down and say show so now this fact box will be visible you can also if I don't you don't like this you can make this hide and you know it'll, it'll be set to hidden now let's quickly look into the card page and see what options are there because there are a little bit different options in the card page so when you click on the card page you can actually uh, do certain things like you can move the field as we did in the in in the list page so I can drag it and place it after balance if I need it you can also decide that when this field will be visible as in this is so more and this is uh, the, all the time so you can decide that this field always come shows under when user clicks on so more otherwise this is by default is not visible or you can always set it to show, show always so I'm saying that it goes to show more so that field goes away when I will click on show more that field will be visible uh, and let's see I, I'll have to apply these changes and then we'll see that now what next uh, you can actually uh, add or remove things into your uh, actions so let's take an example that I click on this and I see that the workflow was set hidden by someone by me earlier maybe or it was hidden by Microsoft or uh, I but I need it so you can always show it and if you don't need functions you can always mark it as hidden so next time when we uh, close our personalization uh, the workflow will be visible whereas the function will not be visible uh, you can also set fields for quick entry or exclude them for quick entry right now this field is set for quick entry so we can exclude it from quick entry if you want to me to talk about more what the quick entry feature is let me know in the comment section and I'll make sure that I add that video so once you are done whatever you wanted to do you can click on done once you have done all your changes are applied so let's go back and let's come to cart page and see the changes that we have made and let's see on actions what happened I can see the workflow but I cannot see the action that I have hidden I cannot see the earlier fact box and I can oh sorry not here that we did in the list page so now you can see the sales history but you don't see the earlier that we were seeing but at any point if you want to revert something you have all the flexibility that you can do at your or by your own so if I want to reset what was there I can always come here into the personalized menu again and then I can clear the personalization now I'll pause for a minute and think about it that when you are clearing there are different areas that you customize we customize the main page area we did some customs into the ribbon we did some customs I don't know yeah here that we hidden this or it was hidden while you are selecting clear personalization make sure that you choose the right option that you have there do you only want to revert personalization which was done on actions or you also want to revert personalization only on fields columns and parts and uh, the fact box area is called parts or you want to revert all so it's up to you what you want to revert let's to give you an example I'm only reverting actions so I'll click on action and say that uh, it will clear all the personalization on that page actions and you cannot undo it so that's very important that you understand what you are removing click yes and this, this will start and restore it back to the actual uh, structure so let's see is it is our workflow is uh, uh, visible again or not coming back here is there wait a minute workflow is there that ribbon changes so let me do my personalize again and clear the personalization in this time for all so once you remove for all it will restore it from uh, as it came from the base as you can see now the name field moved up 
if I come into the menu or maybe I'll have to done it since I've done it come back here click on my customer and still trying to understand what changes happen now it's done and as you can see I can now revert it back to base and I, I did intentionally hide workflow before recording this so that I can show you how you can hide and unhide things but this is the base uh, structure or stock structure of uh, user personalization as an administrator uh, you can always uh, look what uh, uh, personalized pages are so you can look for personalization and you'll see user personalizations here so you can see that I have changed something on the business manager if let's quickly go ahead and do something on vendor so that we have uh, something recorded there personalize and let's hide this location code and I don't need contact so let's hide this done with my personalization let's go into personalization oh it's just for the user you can see personalization pages and you'll see that I have modified customer and vendor so as an administrator you can always come here and delete this and that will remove that personalization for that particular user on that particular page if a user says that he cannot see this he want to revert it back to stock you can always come here and delete those personalization so we have covered most of the things other than why sometime your page will show you a lock sign on personalization and there's a reason behind it and we'll talk about we'll see about it so and that happens because of two reasons uh, one of them is being uh, that you are upgrading from a cal based in, uh, environment or a windows client environment to the web client environment and you didn't clear your personalizations so um, it's uh, you know it does modern client doesn't support personalization that came from the legacy client which is in this case the role tailor client and how you understand it is when you come to this page called personalized pages in business central modern client you will see that this boolean will be marked as true so if any page which have this legacy personalization marked as true a user when it tries to personalize it uh, from the modern client he'll get an lock error message or not an error message but a symbol on the ribbon on the top ribbon uh, like I cannot replicate the scenario but here there will be a lock icon which tells you that this either comes from a previous version uh, of dynamic snap or the other thing is that you may not have a permission so I'll instead of talking much I'll redirect you to the right page which is why a page is locked for personalization and this talks about the same thing which I was talking about that you are bringing it from dynamic snap client and upgrading to business central and then you'll have to unlock the page or delete those personalization the other icon that you can get is blocked for personalization which is this i which is this icon and this is because uh, you don't actually have permission and you need to contact your system administrator to uh, switch to a role center that allows you to do that so those are the only two reason when you will see a page is locked for personalization so I hope I have covered everything on the user personalization side in business central uh, let me know in comments if you want me to uh, focus on certain areas of business central and I'll try to put it in queue uh, that's all for today see you next time bye